Hey guys, welcome back to our posture series where we're talking about all the things, all the postural, the common postural issues that can affect speed and command in each stage of the pitch. We've already been over the load, we've been over the reach. Today we're going to be talking about power K. Now for me, as I always say, power K is the most important stage of the pitch because it's where the pitch delivery begins, okay? You really want to make sure you get to a good power K. So, so far we've done the load, the one position of the pitch where we don't want to be vertically stacked, we want to be forward. We've done the reach where we do want to be vertically stacked. We want that leg drive, that hip drive. We want to be our height nice and tall. We want to be square. Now we're going to continue that push and glide off the rubber and we're going to land in power K. All right. So again, for me, power K, one of the most important stages of the pitch. We'll scoot back, make sure you guys can see me. We want to be tall and stacked. Every stage after the load, we want to be our height. We want to be tall and stacked. My head is on top of my shoulders for a fastball, okay? My shoulders are nice and level, okay? My shoulders are on top of my hips. My hips my, are on top of my knees. My knees are underneath my body, okay? And I'm in my nice palm up, elbow down position here. This is my power K position where I can start my delivery with a nice clear arm slot, generating the most speed and command. So postural issues that we can see in power K. And a lot of times the postural issues that we see in power K, and I apologize for the wind if you can hear any, the postural issues we see in power K start from the load or the reach. They are caused by issues in the load and the reach. It's very unlikely that if, you, if your pitcher has a really good reach position, it's unlikely that you're going to see too many postural issues in power K. You might, but it's unlikely. But when we do things like get to a poor load position, which then causes us to open too soon, for example, we can see a lot of issues in power K. The first one I would say most common, upper body bend across the power line. So instead of hips under shoulders, we are bent, okay? Bent across the power line, arm gets stuck behind the body, my, which means I have to come around and come off the power line to deliver. Sometimes it causes the pitcher to kind of swoop up, like really kind of bounce up with their upper bodies as they're delivering, which can create lift in the pitches, okay? So you really wanna make sure that upper body is nice and tall, shoulders over hips. The next one, that really stems a lot from opening too early in the reach. Even if you don't open too early in the reach, another big postural issue, issue you can see is lack of front side resistance. And what that means is your pitcher will either land with her upper body going really forward past the front leg, or she'll land with a lot of bend in that front leg. Front side resistance is critical, not only for maintaining posture, but generating your lower arm speed. Coach Phil did a post on this, you know, several weeks back. So if you're landing collapsed or you're landing with that upper body forward, you're gonna essentially just be pushing and guiding the ball. You need that front side resistance to help generate lower arm speed and to help you whip and snap correctly. So when we land, again, we wanna get the feeling of that front foot pushing down into the ground, keeping our weight back as we deliver. But a lot of times, again, a lot of that has to do with physical muscular strength, okay? Side of the hip muscles, glutes, core, okay? Obliques, strength, and a lot of young pitchers just don't have that yet. So we see a lot of lunging or upper body going forward as they bend, but you can see what that's done to my arm as I land forward with my posture forward instead of stacked. If I'm stacked, I get to that nice palm up, elbow down position. As Soon as I let that upper body go forward, my hand turns to the side and my arm locks out. So I'm no longer in that nice whip position. My only option is to kind of push from the shoulder and then pull my upper body back to try and get tall again. But then it's too late. Then I've already pushed the ball. I've probably lifted it up a little bit. It throws off the timing of when you release. When you wanna release, is right after that elbow gets to the hip, we're snapping forward right underneath the belly button. But probably 99.9% .9 of the time, when we have an upper body forward pitcher, we'll see them release that ball out past their front leg. This also creates slower speeds and lift in a lot of pitches, okay? Poor timing of release. So you really wanna make sure when you land in power K, Hips are under the shoulders, we're nice and tall. Our weight is slightly more back 
over the back hip. Not forward past the front leg, okay? Not hips sticking out so that our chest is bending across the power line. Hips under shoulders, weight back. This is our power K position with good front side resistance so we can get the best delivery. And that is the stage of the pitch that we're gonna talk about next week. I hope you guys have found this helpful and I'll talk to you soon.